Hello, dear friends. This is Father Nelson Medina, broadcasting from Colombia, South America. And this is Your Catholic Faith Reloaded, episode number 14. Last time, we were talking about sin, about the essence of sin. But you know what? You know what's the most interesting part of speaking of sin? Well, the most interesting part is how sin can be overcome. The response from God to the challenge of sin, because sin is a sort of challenge against God's sovereignty, is against God's lordship. And it is so interesting to realize that God did not remain idle in front before the power of sin, there is a response coming from God. So stay tuned and let's go there to see what was, what is God's response to the horrible, to the uh, powerful challenge of sin. Okay, so we got, we go. So this is our resource. This is the catechism that was published by the St. Joan of Arc Catholic Parish in Indianapolis. And this corresponds to a lesson number two. We go step by step, paragraph after paragraph, learning. In the process, we are learning and relearning our Catholic faith. St. Paul tells us in Romans chapter 3, verses 23 to 24, all have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. They are justified freely by his grace through the redemption in Christ Jesus. Okay, so this is the essence of God's response to sin's challenge. They are justified freely by his grace through the redemption in Christ Jesus. So look at the essential words that we are hearing here justified by his grace through the redemption in Christ Jesus. Justified. Justification. This is a technical theological term that is used by St. Paul chiefly in the Holy Scripture. And what is justification? Justification is the process of making us just. And what is to be, what means to be just according to the Holy Scripture? Well, justice is one of the main attributes of God himself. So that justice is, 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 a, very, is, is a very feature, is, a, is, is characteristic of God's uh, way of acting and being. So to be just is to be in accordance, in accordance to God's way of being and God's way of doing things. That's the central point of being just. So to the justification is the process of taking a person that, that was distant from God, that was in rebellion uh, towards God, against God, that was a person that, who was in disobedience and bringing that person, taking that person and bringing that person closer and closer to God so that this person is adjust, adjust. I like that expression in the English language. It is about adjusting yourself to, the, to, the, to, to, the, to God's will and to God's purpose so that you begin to live in a different way. But it's not only, it's not only about behavior. It's about that we have this distance from God. And this distance is all the, the weight of our sins. It is all the dirty, the, the, the dirt that we have and that is not compatible with God. Think, for example, of a person that has very, very dirty clothes 
uh, this person is entering a perfectly clean house. So there is incompatibility between the state of this person with all his dirt and the state of that house that is completely clean. So you, you, you need, in order to, to unite your life to God, it's not only that your behavior changes, it's only that something within you, something in your person, in your being, has to be transformed. So justification is a change in our behavior that begins with a change in our inner state, in what we are in, in a, within. Justification. And we are justified freely by God's grace. What's grace? Grace is the pouring, transforming, pouring love of God, transforming us. If we are in that dirty state, in that dirty situation that is so miserable, we have to be cleansed. And that's what grace does. Grace is cleaning us. It's, it's the process of cleansing us innerly so that we can be justified, so that we can unite our being with God, holy and beautiful uh, state, so that we can unite ourselves to God. So grace is the transforming love of God coming to us through, through the merits in reason of the merits of Jesus Christ. All people are guilty of sin, and sinners are not able to enter eternal life in heaven. No one is able by his own power to achieve forgiveness of sins. So you cannot, you cannot cleanse yourself. So we Christians, in particular, we Catholics, we don't believe, we don't believe uh, in a self-cleansing process. You, you, you are not self-redeemed. You cannot redeem yourself. You can make, and, and myself, of course, you can make your life a complete and absolute wreck. Of course you can do that. But to repair your life, you have the power to destroy, not the power to repair. You have the power to soil your soul, but you don't have the power to cleanse your soul. We are powerful to destroy, not to repair. You have the power to soil. We don't have the power to cleanse. This is the reality of we human beings. No one is able by his own power to achieve forgiveness of sins. That is why God sent his son, Jesus, to become our substitute so Jesus Christ, out of love, out of sheer and pure love, took over him, carried over him what was our guilt, out of love. This is the message. This is the good news. This is the very essence of the gospel. He could live a holy life for us and then shed his blood for us on the cross to wash away our sins, to cleanse our souls, to make us new creatures so that we could be forgiven. Forgiveness of sins is God's free gift through Jesus. We cannot earn it. That is why, this is, that is why we call it grace, meaning a gift. God's grace shows his love for us and his desire 
that we be able to live with him forever. So that's the way God has chosen out of love. May I repeat that once and again, out of love to cleanse us, out of love to purify us, out of love to make us new creatures, out of love. That's the good news. That's overcoming sin. That's the gospel. That's the central message of our Christian faith. And with that flavor, delicious flavor in your mouth, we finish this brief episode. God has loved us, has loved us so much. May the Lord bless you and thank you for being here.